Hi, great idea to check out this tool. Hey, this is JP and Andrew. Quick background. At this point, we already have the online postings and they can be quickly analyzed by the tool. The whole idea is broken out by therapeutic area. And this is because what is a side effect in one area could be a symptom in another. For instance, wheezing is a side effect for ADHD, but a symptom for respiratory diseases. Why don't we get started? Let's run an analysis for Concerta and see what people have been saying about Concerta lately. Oh, that's easy. Since Concerta is a treatment for ADHD, I start off by selecting ADHD therapeutic area and click on Concerta. It's going to take a little bit to load, but that's, it's just searching our database. The, the tool separates the online postings from the tweets. Say we want to focus on online postings, so I click here. This tool allows us to focus on side effects, attitude, efficacy, adherence, etc. Let's see what's happening on the side effects front. Good idea. To do that, I simply click on side effects. Hey, can we take a look at uh, depression and weight loss at the same time? Sure. What I need to do is click on both depression and weight loss. I'm holding the control key to select both at the same time. The tool will take a second to load, as I said before, as it's going through all the online postings. I think there are about 300,000 of them. It's retrieving the online postings that talk about Concerta and mention either depression or weight loss. Weight loss can be expressed in many ways, weight reduction, loss of weight, and so on. So the tool is telling us that there are 71 postings that meet the criteria? Oh, by the way, why is it saying below there are 60 postings? Good catch. There are 71 mentions of Concerta in 60 total posts. What this means is that multiple hits were tallied in the same post because of the multiple selection criteria. Cool. Green means good and red means bad, right? Exactly. The pie chart shows that of the 71 instances, 65 are negative and 6 are positive. If you look below, you'll see a time series. It's the same convention. Green is positive and red is negative. The time series here tells the story of over 44 months from January 2007 to August 2010. As we can see, the red overpowers the green and there has not been a lot of activity lately. Depression and weight loss have not been a major concern for users of Concerta in the last year. Can we see the actual post behind the time series? Sure. Let's scroll down. There are 60 postings total, and this page is showing the first 10. Let's take a look at post 30. We'll just click on the third page here. And we'll click on the little icon next to the 30th post to see it. This post is short indeed, only two lines. The focus here is Concerta in blue. The red is negative, and we have three negative side effects because of depressed, lost appetite, and lose weight. Right, and it's also interesting th to note that for lost appetite and lose weight, the actual wording doesn't matter. It's still picked up as a negative side effect. Hey, Andrew, how can a side effect be positive? Good comment. A positive side effect is when the author mentions a side effect but doesn't experience it. I see. Efficacy is plus one because of uh, helping, right? That's right. It's because the Concerta is helping the sun focus. Cool. We just looked at side effects here. Can we take a look at um, therapeutic options? Sure. Bear with me for a second while I find a post with other therapeutic options. Oh, this post doesn't have any other therapeutic options either. Let's try another one. Here, there are four therapeutic options on this one. Cool, and you said four, Andrew, because of Ritalin, Adderall, Vivance, and Focalin. Is this how we spell Focalin, by the way? No, it's actually missing an A, but the tool's smart enough to pick, pick up on it. Also, Vivance is misspelled. Can you show us the mechanics of the linguistic principles behind the analysis? Oh, of course. 
That would be the coolest feature of the whole tool. Hey, Andrew, what? Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Why did you click on the under the hood checkbox? JP, sorry to break it to you. I don't think we have the time to do justice to that part right now. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Tell you what. Why don't you schedule an online demo with us and we'll show you all those cool features and much, much more. See you soon.